Shape of Stephanie Lawrence. Listen, all, all these roles that, that you do play on the West End stage and the musicals, uh, I'm not suggesting that you might ever get, com ever get confused between the three of them, but it's, it seems to have, you seem to have cornered the market, haven't you, in these sort of strong leading ladies. You know, how, how's that happened? Is it something that's just gradually evolved or do you set out to do it? I didn't set out to do it, no, but I think my face is uh, adaptable. Really, you know, I sort no, it's, of yes. It's funny you should say that. When we were looking at, we had some um, photographs of you, which uh -huh. we showed earlier in the program. You do look quite astonishingly yeah. like all those people, Marlene Dietrich, the lot. It, it, it is a very malleable face. It is, yeah. yeah. But you should see it before the makeup goes on. <laughs> <laughs> you did, didn't you? I did actually, right. and it looked it's very, funny, very funny. nice. Yeah. Well, it, it's all to do with um, a good cameraman, you know, taking pictures of you, and the makeup being correct. And, mm. and yes, I suppose my face is sort of quite good for that uh, changing but yeah. you also have to get into the character behind it obviously Definitely. And, and, but, but, but do you do that as well almost like an impressionist would in sort of perhaps studying expressions of these people no I don't I try I try and do it through feel through my eyes I don't try and copy mm. and I, I know when I'm doing it right I was doing some pictures with uh, Terry O'Neill for Marilyn last sitting mm. and he said to me you know you don't look anything like her you know through the, you know like in real life yes. but when we started doing the pictures he said it's incredible and I knew it was working you just know when something yeah. is working sure. yeah. I mean works. the other thing about changing your appearance presumably so I mean Marilyn Monroe is a lot plumper than Ava Perron do you have to keep on dieting and putting on weight and dieting and I did that very well <laughs> 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 just taking it off it's hard but um, well, actually, Evita, yes, Evita was quite big, but of course she died of cancer, so she got quite thin towards the end. But yeah. uh, the weight I had to put on for Marilyn was in the upper region, so I had yeah. to do a lot of dumbbell oh, work. Really? Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I mean, I, I grew quite well, actually, though. <laughs> I didn't suffer, I don't think, no. Listen, the thing is that, I mean, if we were to live in London, we yeah. probably would have seen you several times by now. We would have come along and seen the shows. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> but well, really. But the thing is that you're, you're very well known in the West End, but yeah. to a much lesser extent, and I know you'll, you'll forgive me for saying that, sort of nationally, um, I was thinking that in the age before television and film, they've broken into film, um, you would have been an extremely famous person because the West End was the place where rare stars were made. Is it, how do you feel about that, the fact that you're better known in the West End than perhaps on the box? I don't mind. I don't, you know, I just like working and, and everything that comes with it. it um, a lot of people do know me up here, a lot of people don't know me, but now that I have gone into um, films mm. um, without sort of planning that as well, I hope that, that you know, it's nice to be recognised, but I'd love to get some television work. Yeah. You know, something but you're interested in time. straight acting as well as yes. as well as the yeah. singing, are you not? Everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What I mean, do, do you see? I mean, when are you in any sense a sort of rival to Elaine Page? I mean, would you like to do the mm. things that she does? I'm or? a fan of Elaine Page. No, I think she's great. Mm. No, we're totally different. Again, I I don't see that she could have played Marilyn. Mm. You know, and I don't see that she could. Um, you know, th those sort of roles. Um, Evita, yes, and uh, whatever else she's played with it. They're, you know, different strokes for different folks, and I'm, mm. I'm right for the things I've done. Mm. And just out of the blue, you know, um, I've started to go into films, which I'm thrilled about. Tell us about that. What's, what's happened for you? Well, I've done Buster, which was great, which mm. was uh, playing a nice cop cockney lady with nothing up here at all, which is quite easy for me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just been filming in Hungary, Budapest. I've been doing the Phantom of the Opera, playing the diva of the opera house who gets decapitated. Mm. <laughs> it's not very nice more, at this time of the morning. Yes. Yeah. But it was a horrible experience I had to go through because I had to get plastered to, you know, so that they could do my head. Yeah. And uh, oh. I had to sit there for half an hour with just two little holes, God. you know, and with my mouth open. I, <laughs> <laughs> so what, I just with this plaster of Paris, just yeah, sitting slowly the way, on your yeah. face. What you go through, what you go through. I get panic a bit. I'm, I'm sure. Surprised. It must be a very disciplined life anyway, singing and dancing. You must have to look after your health a lot. Yeah, pretty well, yes. Yeah. What um, do you do? I mean, do you sort of get up late and do you, do you have eating regimes or what? I'm, no, I'm not very good with that, but um, I just try not to open the fridge door. <laughs> <laughs> put a lock on it and forget the combination. Every, that's right. Yeah. Every now and again I chuck everything out to stop myself. Uh, eating yeah. too much because I do have a very healthy appetite but I go to a health club all the time when I can mm. and mm. when I was filming in Hungary you know if there's a swimming pool like there was here in the hotels you know I get down there if I can yes, and have a little, yes. that's the best Take it exercise where you can. yeah mm. all right listen thanks very much it's been a real pleasure. pleasure to meet you really Likewise. has and uh, we're not going to say goodbye to Stephanie Lawrence just yet because she's going to be singing for us at the very end of the program so look forward to that but now it's time for a short